avoiding the label, queer artist, for 27 years, afforded me plenty of time to figure who I was before coming out. But that's not why I ran from the label for so long. Maybe it's because queer still has that bitter taste of a word I was taught not to say. Maybe it's because queer feels like a declaration of arrival, a one-way ticket destination. Or maybe my hesitation came from an unconscious internalization of transphobia. The permeating cultural question that I hear too often whispered, as if begging to be left unanswered, why do they have to throw it in my face? Taking on the label, queer artist invites the critique that my paintings should be independent of my transgender identity. This criticism proposes that artwork should not rely on random assignments of uniqueness. But this is just an eloquent way of saying, if your work was good enough, it would not be queer. The politically correct version argues that in a perfect world, your gender identity should not matter. But this too is just a polite way of saying, queer does not matter and therefore should not be seen. When I posted a studio picture with the caption, painting myself once a month for a year as a way of documenting my gender transition, I received the comment, vanity, identity, cringe, and I couldn't help but smirk. I couldn't help but smirk because it meant that I was no longer a silent participant in the attitude that queer deserves to be unspoken. Taking on the label, queer artist carries the pressure of representing an entire community. But I can only speak to my personal experiences. And for me, gender too often feels like heaviness. I have been denied health care, denied health insurance, harassed in public, and have had my job threatened for being queer. In a mandatory high school class, I was taught the nuances of how acting on homosexuality is a sin. When gay marriage was illegal, Summit County Probate Court commissioned me for a painting which is displayed above the desk where couples sign their marriage license. As an out trans man, I donated artwork to Valor Home, a homeless veteran shelter, at a time when there was and still is a ban on transgender people serving in our military. And so for me, there is this heaviness because civic participation has been paired with exclusion. I take on the label queer artist, not as a stopping point, but rather as a way of looking at a system that does not recognize my existence and saying, you don't get to tell me what that word means anymore.